ಕರ್ನಾಟಕ ಕೋಆಪರೇಟಿವ್ ಸೊಸೈಟೀಸ್ ಆಕ್ಟ್ ನೈನ್ಟೀನ್ ಫಿಫ್ಟಿ ನೈನ್ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಕೆ ಎಸ್ ಆರ್ ಎ ನೈನ್ಟೀನ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ಟಿ ಕೆ ಒ ಎ ನೈನ್ಟೀನ್ ಸೆವೆಂಟಿ ಟು ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಕ್ವೈಟ್ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದಟ್ ಸೊ ವೆನ್ ವಿ ಫೈಲ್ ದ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಆರ್ ಟಿ ಐ ರಿಪ್ಲೈ ಇನ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಆಸ್ಕಿಂಗ್ ದ ರಿಜಿಸ್ಟ್ರಾರ್ ಆಫ್ ಕೋಆಪರೇಟಿವ್ ಸೊಸೈಟೀಸ್ ವಿ ಆಸ್ ದ ಸೇಮ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ಡಿ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಪವರ್ಸ್ ಟು ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಅಸೋಸಿಯೇಷನ್ ಟು ರಿಜಿಸ್ಟರ್ ಅಸೋಸಿಯೇಷನ್ ಆಸ್ ಪರ್ ಪ್ರೊವಿಷನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ನೈನ್ಟೀನ್ ಸೆವೆಂಟಿ ಟು ದೇ ರಿಪ್ಲೈ ಡಸ್ ವಿ ಡು ನಾಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಎನಿ ಪವರ್ಸ್ ಬಟ್ ಯು ಕೆನ್ ನೌ ಕಮ್ ಫಾರ್ವರ್ಡ್ ಟು ರಿಜಿಸ್ಟರ್ ಯುವರ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಆಸ್ ಅ ಕೋಆಪರೇಟಿವ್ ಸೊಸೈಟಿ ಅಂಡರ್ ಪ್ರೊವಿಷನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಕರ್ನಾಟಕ ಕೋಆಪರೇಟಿವ್ ಸೊಸೈಟೀಸ್ ಆಕ್ಟ್ ನೈನ್ಟೀನ್ ಫಿಫ್ಟಿ ನೈನ್ ಸೊ ಅಂಡರ್ ದಿಸ್ ದ ಪ್ರೊಸೀಜರ್ ಟು ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಕೋಆಪರೇಟಿವ್ ಸೊಸೈಟಿ ಇಸ್ ಲಿಟಲ್ ಕಂಬರ್ಸಮ್ i will explain you the uh, procedure since 2020 after this when we inquired how many registrations have happened as a uh, have happened so under this uh, in 20 in the year 2024 or 5 registrations have happened in bangalore in 2021 i was the first person to register uh, one of the brigade orchards sidar block in uh, devanalli so i will be registering uh, three more uh in the same devanalli and one in hoskote <coughs> so coming to the proceed uh, procedures so 1959 uh, under this 1959 the procedures is little cumbersome it almost takes 2 to 3 months to get a certificate of registration first initially the bylaws uh, are uh, standard bylaws which cannot be amended first thing so we have to accept the bylaws given by the registrar of cooperative society here uh, it it has more of compliance part so initially we uh, accept those bylaws and uh, we we submit them with the promoter and co-promoters in the last page we add an addendum of promoter and co-promoters uh, the promoter and co-promoters are none other than residents some people uh misunderstand that promoter and co-promoter means the builders no it's uh, not actually builders it is the promoters and co-promoters are the per- uh, are the residents who are proposing to form cooperative society so one thing so uh, so we should not confuse like who is a promoter who is a co-promoter co-promoter uh, or promoter will be those residents who are proposing to form a cooperative society so we submit the bylaws and the names after we submit <coughs> after we submit uh, then uh, we have to call the government officer to prepare a feasibility report so after he prepares a feasibility uh, report again a temporary registration certificate is issued after he issues a temporary registration certificate uh, after he issues a temporary registration certificate again we have to collect 1000 rupees from every resident we have to open a bank account and we have to deposit this 1000 rupees in a bank account and we have to issue share certificates to every resident we have to print a share certificate in name of the cooperative society uh, we have to issue a share certificate so this share certificate uh, gives a right for every resident to vote in the upcoming elections after we finish this process of issuing share certificates uh, then again we have to call the uh, observer or government officer to declare the dates for election nominations so when should be the uh, no, uh, filing election nomination filing should be date should be announced by the observer and last date uh sorry and uh, last date for uh, filing nominations and the date on which the election is to happen is decided by this observer uh, so after the nominations uh election uh, date nomination is decided the date of election is decided on the day of nomination suppose let's assume if we have fixed the number uh, of the executive committee to be 17 19 or 21 i think there has been recent amendments uh, which is limiting the number to 13 so yeah, suppose if we uh, executive committee is uh, limited to 13 so if only 13 no, out of this 13 uh, the three posts uh, sorry three members 
should the three uh, should be reserved for sc st obc and people from this community if they are not available we have to keep those places vacant so it cannot be occupied by any other uh, resident who does not belong to such community second thing and after uh, if only th- 13 people file nominations then uh, there will be no elections they will be elected unopposed after that he issues a permanent registration uh, certificate and your registration is complete so after that the office bearer positions for president secretary uh, vice president and all internal voting will happen but if somebody want proposes himself and he wants to be a president he has to nominate uh, in, uh, in that 13 member body he will nominate himself if he gets the maximum number of votes to become a president he will become a president likewise secretary likewise vice president likewise uh, this people have to become office bearers and manage different positions likewise they have to run now let's look into a uh, pdf of uh, the differences between 1972 and 59 screen uh is this my screen visible to everyone yes sir yes sir yes sir okay now let's look into differences between 1972 and 1959 so under 1972 uh, we do not get any identity uh, because there is no certificate of registration available under 1959 certificate of registration is available there is no provisions for registration under 1972 act under 1959 the registration procedure is defined which i already explained in uh, quite cumbersome so 1972 uh, again uh, uh creates way for the builder to manipulate with dod and bylaws so sometimes uh builder tries to keep all the residents in his control here under 1959 there are no such procedures we are free from any builders intentions so again uh, manip- under 1972 there is manipulation of dod by uh because physical filing is not allowed he sends dod and bylaws through post he shows you the acknowledgement and he tells you that you are a registered uh, aso- uh, he has complied the procedures of 1972 in fact it is not complied because the competent authority the registrar of cooperative societies never accepts physical filings until date not a single apartment association has registered themselves under 1972 so under 1972 bylaws are prepared by builder so no uh, and uh, the rules and regulations of the bylaws are mostly inserted by the builder under this there are fixed bylaws which cannot be amended and uh, looking into 1972 it is like uh, residents themselves manage the affairs of the association but here all the bylaws are regulated by registrar of cooperative society any violation any resident has powers to go and file a complaint before the registrar for any violations of the rules of the bylaws so uh, here term of office bearers executive committee uh, is as decided by the builder like for that uh, term as uh, if he decides to in uh, many practice one year term two year term or three year term here under uh, 1959 it's a fixed term of five years because elections has to happen in presence of a observer or a government uh, agent before whom the election results shall be declared so there are very less chances of any election disputes but under 1972 there are there is many possibilities of disputes uh possibilities of disputes are more under 
So 1972 elections are self-regulatory and uh, 1959. Sorry. So 1959 elections are regulated by registrar of cooperative societies. He declares the election results and very less chances of election disputes. So under 1972, if any disputes like misappropriation of funds arises, uh, uh, any the court again has to ask the competent authority mentioned in the act to investigate into such disputes. But if court asks them that again they will also raise their hands saying that no power solar rules has been framed by state government of karnataka giving us powers to look into such affairs so it defeats the purpose under 1959 roc has powers to look into election dis- disputes misappropriation of funds so here under 1972 till what extent the high courts have recognized the association to the extent of recovery of maintenance uh, many stakeholders have filed pil in uh, high court even i have also filed a pil asking uh, in my prayer i have asked to implement this act because if this act gets implemented only when the court uh, the court also does not have any powers to amend the act as such but it can direct the state government uh, to amend the act and make it a better way possible for future associations if they still want to run under 1972 because the act is com- the 1972 act becomes complete only when a registration an identity of uh, association is issued by the competent authority uh, for example if there is if suppose the courts for let's for example the courts may give a direction to the state government to amend this act uh, and to bring this act into practice if such thing has to happen then again state government has to look into the flaws of 1972 it has to have uh, it has to give powers to the competent authority to allow registrations they have to amend instead of the word used f- uh, filed they should uh, Uh, they should replace it by registration and also they should define the powers of the competent authority for what all disputes and what all bylaws should be inserted into this act should also be defined by the state government and they should direct the uh, competent authority that is the registrar of cooperative societies to allow only such bylaws to be inserted in the 1972 registration of association under uh, karnataka cooperative societies act 1959 roc has uh, uh, suppose uh, if some defaulter uh, some resident has not paid maintenance so there is powers the executive committee or the office bearers can file a complaint before registrar by virtue of our bylaws to attach assets of the defaulter to recover maintenance but under 1972 we have to approach civil court to get a decision it will take 1 to 2 years after getting a decision again we have to file an execution case uh, and we have to raise warrants warrants arrest warrants against the defaulter to recover but here the process is quite simpler by virtue of bylaws we can directly file complaint before roc and uh, we can recover maintenance under this Karnataka Cooperative Society Act 1959 So again the manipulation of DOD under 1972 the builder uh, uh, the only purpose of DOD is for declaring UDS because what can the builder declare in the document is only the UDS but why is the builder inserting Uh, the name of the, uh, the name of that apartment as an association even uh, uh, it is been done under the nose i would like to say so blindly the sub registrars have accepted and even the sub registrars have also allowed many deed of declaration uh, inserted along with bylaws and they have registered this entire document by collecting additional fees for the extra pages inserted so we have to understand that sub registrar 
uh, who is a revenue authority does not have powers to declare the name of the apartment as an association first thing he does not have powers to register your by laws he only has powers to declare how much each apartment will get undivided square feet area in that document rest all other things we just have to think and use our brain whether it is correct or not so kcsa this uh, uh, after knowing all the flaws of uh, 1959 sorry 1972 and 1960 when we filed the second rti the uh, the, uh, the the register of cooperative society they started forming the same maharashtra model uh, where the bylaws have also been uh, brought from there so the same uh, model bylaws have been accepted and it's a standard format so the same type of cooperative societies have been allowed uh, since 2020 the registrations have started so so uh, even though the act says it uh, it was enacted in 1959 so from 1959 the karnataka cooperative societies act was mainly made for banks cooperative banks and cooperative societies and other uh, other other uh, areas but only in 2020 please note that in only in 2020 this came in practice uh, after the after this cooperative society system following maharashtra model when it came in pra- practice in 2020 hardly four or five registrations have come to my not- uh, notice in, in the year 2020 in 21 i have registered one in uh, devanalli i'll be registering three more in devanalli and one in poskote <clears throat> so as already stated that builder inserts bylaws in this document and uh, he pays additional fees for the extra pages inserted for the bylaws pages and he makes you believe and he hands over this document to all the association form and he makes you believe that you are a registered association go run your show but under uh, 1959 all our uh, bylaws are registered certificate of registration is issued under 1972 there is no requirement of annual renewal of association as no authority exists to renew your association so this may make way for destroying all the records for minutes of meeting resolution taken audit reports it may get destroyed but under 1959 annual renewal is very much compulsory you have to Uh, renew every year by su- renew the cooperative society every year by submitting the bu- minutes of meetings bylaws past and the audit reports you have to submit everything and there is a delay penalty if you file a little late there will be de- delay penalty when complaints procedure is little more under kcsa 1959 so 1972 is more of self uh, regulatory style all the res- uh, residents regulate themselves for any resolutions or bylaws but under 1959 uh, a little upper hand is given to the government to look into the affairs and disputes if there is uh, misappropriation of funds those areas can be covered by them so there is one more uh, flaw uh, in 19 i would like to say in maharashtra uh, the handover process the 15th point i would like to say the handover process is not defined in karnataka many residents believe that the handover is complete if the builder transfers all the original documents to the association but i am sorry to say you that this handover is not complete because the only process where the handover is complete where i found was in maharashtra where they have followed the process of conveyance deed wherein the builder has to register all the common areas land in the name of cooperative society and then he has to finish the construction then he has to exit so some people believe that tomorrow if we take the maintenance uh, part from uh, the builder uh, and we appoint our own housekeeping agencies but if he has done some incomplete work what if we then he, uh, residents believe that handover is complete incomplete Uh, let me be uh, clear my friends if builder does not want to finish the work he wants to take the additional money there is uh, you can always approach 
necessary courts civil court consumer court you can always challenge that incomplete work and one more problem many associations faces with sinking fund so what if that sinking fund uh, the builder does not want to hand over the sinking fund uh, my dear friends please understand that if builder wants to raise um, inflated bills and he wants to exhaust all your sinking fund he can do so again it's a question like how can you challenge how will you challenge if he has raised inflated bills towards all the residents uh, towards all the residents for the expenditure uh, he has done for maintaining the apartment that's another question so it's a uh, very difficult to uh, challenge if he has raised inflated bills and exhausted all your sinking fund one thing so uh, even all the incomplete work any day it can be challenged uh, it does not mean that just because he has not done the uh, work pending pending work or any minor construction the stp or this or that it does not bar the residents to go against him to file a case if he does not want to do it he will not do it so if he is a genuine builder he will definitely do it so uh, tomorrow the, the one more issue we face here is with in karnataka uh, because the, the law is not clear if conveyance state suppose the land has to be transferred in the name of the cooperative society uh, tomorrow the our law has to change and make way if again if again the after we form suppose let's assume we form the cooperative society if again we are made to pay stamp duty and all other char- charges for transferring the land in the name of cooperative society then it defeats the purpose because stamp duty may come in cross together it will defeat the purpose of uh, transferring from the builder to your name in maharashtra model and all there, there is a very nominal fee to transfer all the common areas because already the builder has registered all the apartments in the name of residents and the residents have paid right. fee. just a minute yeah residents have paid stamp duty but in karnataka Uh, we are yet to uh, the two departments one is revenue department and one is registrar of cooperative societies both have and the state government all three have to work together and make way to make provisions for transfer of uh, common area land from the builder's name to the uh, cooperative society's name so when this process is happening then i can ca- call that that this is a complete handover unless this process is not allowed it will be very difficult uh, to say that we we got a handover from a builder so build a handover process is not defined in karnataka till date so i am open for any doubts and clarifications yes manish sir yeah sir as per nera real estate regulation regulatory act the builder has to hand over the association Uh, by relinquishing the common area to the association correct so when the common area has to be relinquished to the government see sir there are uh, different uh, common areas in the conversion order so, uh, when whenever the builder forms an apartment or any other thing the conversion order the common areas has to be relinquished in the name of Uh, the builder there are there are some more areas club house amenities which are used to be used by the residents so such type of common areas common corridor uh, the land on which the apartment is being constructed tomorrow let's assume uh, there is some major structural defect and you need to approach uh, the plan sanctioning authority to do some work on your building and you need uh, permissions and uh, uh, this thing you again uh, are under the mercy of the builder to obtain in no see and other things so but when you have a conveyance deed deemed, deemed conveyance deed of all the land being transferred in your name of the cooperative society this problem you will not face because you can directly approach for all permissions plan sanctions and other things uh, am i am i clear to you sir yeah yes yeah, to be basically yeah. you mean to say rera rera is working rera is in sync with the cooperative society act so when rera says 
uh, in one year the association has to be formed what does that rera says in under which act the what is the competent authority as per rera uh, now because people are happily getting rera approval by 19 registering under 1960 in fact i myself got my association registered two of the association registered in last one month uh, where i was the one of the executive mem- member in last two months both under 19 that 60 wala act so i don't know uh, whether that is valid or not and what we have got out of it rera has no idea about 1959 nor 1972 nor 1960 it is accepting anyone into their ambit <laughs> see got any more doubts from anyone so one clarification yeah Uh, I don't know whether it is covered or not. Is there any minimum flags required for this registration? Sir, uh, if you are uh, because yesterday some uh, it, because I am registering next week one uh, uh, villa in Hospote. There have been uh, some amendments to that. The last time I registered one uh, apartment in Devanagari. and of 1959 there the promoters and co-promoters numbers we only added only seven names but in the recent amendments they were telling me that uh, the minimum number promoter and co-promoter numbers should be 20 so 20 people are required who are proposing to form a cooperative society so when they mean 20 obviously the the cooperative society the apartment should have more than 20 apartments i think is what in my idea but there is no clear cut clarification because for the reason uh, the act itself started in 2020 till there are more amendments uh, when this uh, more i request you to mute yeah yeah so so still more amendments are required and uh, to make it a successful working act and uh, the conveyance and all these things has to be clarified and uh, separate rules and regulations has to be framed under this act now what the cooperative society has done is the registrar they have just blindly followed the maharashtra model they have followed the co- uh, the same they have copied the same bylaws of maharashtra where the, only the, the those version of the bylaws are being allowed to register you cannot go and insert any terms and conditions in the bylaws or you can reduce the number of years of the term of office you cannot do that so so their standard fixed bylaws have, are being accepted okay thank you So, are you clear about the three types of associations in practice? Yes, sir. Yes, Manish, sir. Go ahead. I had one. Yes, sir. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, one so, quick question uh, regarding this. Uh, yes, please. Yes, please. Uh, this is applicable only for apartments or uh, apartments, villas, villas, apartments and villas. not on property developments see it depends upon if you are a gated community one thing property development cannot be a gated community no sir let me let me come to that there are two types of uh, gated community yes, there are two types of conversion suppose if sites are formed and uh, the roads have been left for the government and it is joining some adjacent property How will you make it a gated community? That's what sir. The plotted yes. layout cannot be a gated community. Yes. There are two types of plotted in this also. In uh, another type of plotted development, you put boundaries across all your uh, plots. So that is a that is a that group, group housing. Approval. Yes, group housing. Yes, correct. The word I was missing. That's group housing. So group housing and plotted are two two things are there. In plotted development, it cannot be applicable because everybody will be paying. Uh, the property development and all the maintenance charges of the government in plot right. development and a group mm. housing it will be maintained maintained by the residents then you need you need a cooperative system right yes so basically if somebody uh, so, uh, if, if, if it is go go ahead go ahead go ahead sorry yes shrinidhar sir tell me yes sir so if it is a uh, 
group development i i, I didn't get the terminology since i'm new to it uh, you can have multiple such associations with uh, different bylaws i did not get your question sir uh, suppose you have a housing society you would have a typical resident welfare association and uh, you can have multiplicity of such uh, resident welfare associations because you are paying all your uh, taxes everything to the government sir in group housing society let's assume the builder has formed a group housing society and he would have defined the boundaries and you cannot uh, you cannot form two cooperative housing societies in the same uh, land sanction he has obtained suppose Uh, let's assume there is phase 1 and phase 2 group housing society in phase 1 the 100 villa owners they want to form their own cooperative society they have one choice okay let's assume the second uh, possible condition in the phase 2 they have another 200 villas they want to form their own group uh, cooperative society they can form their their free but inside the same 100 villas 50 people cannot say that i want to be i want to form a separate cooperative society the remaining 50 will know that entire uh, uh, plan sanction obtained for phase 1 the phase 1 people uh, only one cooperative society will be allowed am i clear sir shridhar sir yes sir however uh, i don't know who is the competent authority who is going to uh, you know look into it and say what is right or what is wrong as you as you mentioned i have phase 1 i have phase 2 i can have a, a superlet of uh, phase 1 plus phase 2 one uh, different association but i will have a different uh, bylaw bylaw see it depends upon what you are subjecting to okay suppose you are all your majority of your residents for example in phase 1 they subject themselves to 1959 cooperative society karnataka cooperative society is acting in putting and if they subject themselves to 1959 then the standard bylaws only will be accepted which is uh, available with the registrar only uh, you cannot insert any new terms and conditions in those bylaws you have to go with those bylaws but if if you want to subject to 1972 as per the builder whatever terms and conditions he has inserted in the do dod in the bylaws and you if you want to subject if majority of residents want to subject to those 1972 provisions you can subject i have already defined the welfare association 1960 which is a defeated uh, version of uh, apartment associations or group housing associations uh, i will be uh, so in the 2019 uh, verdict so if welfare association should not collect maintenance for the verdict in that so after that uh, if any resident can go and file a complaint and cancel the registration of that association formed under 1960 karnataka societies registration act uh, so it depends upon what you choose which type of association you choose shridhar sir and which you want to subject and tomorrow uh, let's assume a possibility that some residents do not want to be form of cooperative society the common doubts some people have what if some residents do not want to be part of cooperative society and majority of residents want to be part of cooperative society the cooperative society accepts only the majority even if a person does not pay the shareholding amount or he does not take any uh, does not take the certificate or sign anywhere but still he is liable Uh, to be subjected to the provisions of Karnataka Cooperative Society Act 1959, so he cannot escape the ambit if majority of residents decide to follow 1959. So when uh, group housing societies, if they have done in uh, two possibilities, phase one, phase two is there. Phase one want to form a separate cooperative society, phase two want to. separate cooperative housing society that's possible and second possibility is also that phase 1 and phase 2 combined both want to be in the same cooperative society that's also possible depends upon your plan sanction if phase 1 uh, has obtained one plan sanction phase 2 another plan sanction the adjacent property the same uh, builder 
depends upon the residents living in both the phases if they want to be under same cooperative society also possible if they want to have a separate cooperative society also possible yes manish sir any more thank you sir yes any more doubts yeah i hope many of uh, for many of you it might be very new uh, topic only those uh, who are living in apartments will know about this trend of associations sir i have yes, quite sir. some questions uh, i'm really sorry i please, just please. uh can, can i take it offline ah uh, sure 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 you if it's general you can ask uh see I, uh, as you know i am new to this but however uh, from some of uh, the experience that i have with uh, housing cooperative society and the way it performs and uh, the applicable bylaws and stuff Um, it seems one sided so i mean i just wanted to understand that portion uh, you have bylaws somebody has put it and uh, you just can't uh, take it by the face of it because it is uh, enforced on you right as a as a citizen so yeah i have lots of questions regarding that i mean uh, you can't uh, entangle somebody just because they have a property in some place or uh, you buy an apartment as part of a, a bigger uh, Uh, cluster and stuff right so you really don't know what is right and what is wrong so i have many questions regarding that and probably basically it will go back to uh, you know the basics of law <laughs> who forms it and how exactly you would like to you know position yourself to see what is acceptable okay. or not i will answer your question in a simple way in all the three acts under 1960 uh, before 2019 it used to be framed by residents or the builder before 2019 after 2019 words like maintenance levy of fines uh, maintenance per square feet area is not being allowed to be inserted if you are forming a welfare association uh, under provisions of ksra 1960 and also if you are uh, you cannot collect maintenance if you are registered under provisions of 1960 after 2019 even if you are old so, association we have, we, have, we have done it sir we have recently we have added this words if you are the 1960 only so what is the solution for those apartments or villa plots or group housing societies if they have registered under provisions of 1960 they will have to migrate to 1972 or they will have to migrate to ksa 1959 form a cooperative housing society these two options are available if tomorrow it's a, it's like a nail on your toes tomorrow any resident wants to cancel he has some fight with your association he wants to uh, take revenge and cancel your certificate of registration he can straight away throw a complaint and get your association cancelled okay so this is the solution and uh, 19 uh, 1960 as uh, uh, in 1972 builder used to insert the bylaws because there are no rules defining Uh, under uh, 1972 what rules should be inserted in the bylaws as such is not defined in 1972 because the rule making power is not defined only in 1959 where the registrar is uh, registering cooperative society he has plainly borrowed bylaws from maharashtra model of cooperative society and those fixed bylaws which you cannot amend or change only those bylaws will be allowed to be registered under 1959 so there is no scope of any amendments under 1959 so you understood like where are the sources shridhar sir of the bylaws inserted yeah thank you thank you sir so basically i am uh, dealing with almost eight uh, been appointed as retainer for uh, eight resident welfare associations i almost handle 10000 apartments every day with all their infights with all their uh, wetting of agreements and all those things i ha- have been handling associations registered under 1960 1972 1959 in my experience 
what i have learned the uh, the cons and positives of all these types of associations i have tried to give you wholeheartedly all this my experience to you like how the association system has been running in karnataka as such what all laws we have following so tomorrow if you are looking for practice in all these areas you should be aware with all these three acts karnataka societies registration act 1960 koa 1972 kcsa 1949 which you will never read in your law subjects in your three years if you read it hope i made your eyes open for all the misconce- misconceptions about apartment associations Yes, thank you, thank you, Abhilash. So for every yes, week, we will be disturbing you now. Now the, every week, uh, the last video I made, I think issues of apartment associations, which is available on our channel, every weekend, every uh, apartment association, they are seeing my uh, YouTube video and they have been calling me, giving me appointments. This way, you also should learn. Dolly ma'am many doubts no doubts sir very clear sir thank you sir only happy when you understand whatever i said <laughs> okay so i will end the meeting thank you very much everyone it was wonderful answering all your doubts thank you sir thank you sir thank you sir, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir.